Cutenza is a novel um, treatment uh, for neuropathic pain. Now, neuropathic pain is, is, is a specific type of pain often fed, felt at the skin's surface. Um, the patch is novel in as much as it contains a compound of chili pepper called capsaicin and it's applied topically, i.e. onto the skin, um, in, in a controlled environment um, for half an hour to an hour and it will often result in improvements in pain symptoms for anything up to three months. Um, there are many people who can benefit from this particular treatment. Um, it's a treatment for people who have in particularly painful areas of skin normally, and that's called um, painful neuropathic skin. And typically that might affect people who've had shingles. It could also affect people who have got HIV-associated neuropathy, which is painful often hands and feet, but pain in the skin areas. It can also um, be used on people who've had surgical procedures, who've got a lot of scar-related pain, so it has a wide number of applications. Um, it's been, for, for a long time, people have known that chili peppers have a slightly pain-killing effect. Um, prior to the development of this patch, um, we have had a product called capsaicin, which is the active ingredient of the chili pepper, which has been applied manually by hand. But handling chili peppers, as you know, can be quite challenging, particularly if you have to rub it in. It stays in your fingers and can affect your eyes, so it can be quite painful and difficult to use. So the advantage of this new patch is that <clears throat> it comes as a pre-medicated patch and it can be applied by a particular individual in a special circumstance. The patch itself is a medicated patch that contains 8% capsaicin, and this is the active ingredient in chili peppers. Um, this 8% is very concentrated, and as such, it has to be applied in a controlled manner. So it can't, it can't be um, bought over the counter and applied at home. It is a very specialized product. The good thing about the application is it's a single application and it normally asks, lasts for up to three months. There are times that after several treatments it's been reported that sometimes this can be every six months or every nine months and I have heard of patients who only require the treatment every year. Um, and what happens during treatment? Ah, during treatment. Because this is a chili pepper patch, it's important that the skin area is prepared beforehand. Typically what happens is the patient will come in and have the area marked. It's then um, a, a soothing and anaesthetic gel is applied to the area that we are to treat. Uh, that's left on for a period of half an hour to an hour. Then the patch is applied under controlled conditions and applied to just the area in question. Um, the patch is left in place for either 30 minutes or an hour, depending on where the patch is placed. Um, and thereafter, another soothing gel is applied and patients are allowed to go home. So it is quite an involved procedure and would entail at least two to two and a half hours of time, during which time the skin was prepared and the, pl pa the plaster was applied. During the procedure, no, because the area is pre-treated with local anaesthetic. Uh, so it, at the time of application, not. Unfortunately, afterwards, dependent on some individuals, uh, there is often an associated pain. It's often likened to a sunburn type pain, uh, and it responds well to cooling afterwards, cool, um, cool packs, cool clothes, cool, 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 um, one can use cooling cloths afterwards to actually just control the pain afterwards. But just like sunburn will tend to last for 24 hours or so, so the, uh, the, 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 the burning effect may be short-lived. 
In some patients, they don't experience any burning sensation at all. So it's not, it's not, in very, it's not inevitable that everybody will experience burning. Uh, if it goes really red, it's important to come back or contact the clinician or contact the center where the patch was applied. Um, in the event that it starts to blister, which is extremely uncommon, then it's suggested that you take yourself to an A&E department where, again, a certain sort of, 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 of cream or, or specific treatment may be necessary. It's very, very rare that anyone should actually blister as a result of it, but that would, that would again, entail medical intervention to be seen. Again, extremely rare. There are some other side effects associated with patch application. One would be a very small increase in blood pressure. It's not, the increase in blood pressure is very transient, which means it's very short-lived. And it's a very, very modest to small amount. So it, clinically, this does not equate into anything. It's just that we have during studies noticed that while people having the patch applied, their blood pressure goes up slightly. But then that's the same for many patients who are coming in to have treatments in a hospital or clinic environment. Blood pressure does often increase and that's just due to anxiety. Um, that depends on whether your local hospital has been approved. This is a relatively new treatment um, and because there is a cost implication, there are few centres at the moment on the NHS where this is available. So it is important that both the hospital and the clinician are approved centres. So you, will, you would have to investigate as to whether that was available locally to you. The treatment has, uh, the product has now been licensed for use for well over two years. Um, it has been proved to work both in scientific studies and through anecdotal feedback of clients who've used this product before. The treatment should not be used in patients who have sent extreme skin sensitivity, skin conditions, perhaps some rare skin conditions where skin blisters easily or subject to burning very easily. Um, it shouldn't be given in patients who have diabetes and is not licensed for patients who have diabetes, particularly diabetic foot pain. Um, because it is a single application and where effective will reduce or eliminate the pain for a period of up to three months and sometimes beyond three months. There is nothing that we have in terms of treating this sort of pain, be they through medications or other patches that are as effective as this. So it is a very useful adjunct in terms of our armamentarium of drugs that we use in the treatment of neuropathic pain.